released in 2017 by First Four Figures, made of resin and comes with a card of authenticity. Fully licensed by Nintendo, limited edition of 1,600 pieces, hand numbered, mine is 373. This eerie looking piece stands at a massive and detailed 25 inches. In keeping with the woodland theme of the Skull Kid, the mask sits on a realistic looking moss covered small tree stand. This piece is recommended for any fan of Majora's Mask and essential to any collector of all things Legend of Zelda. This is a really nice looking statue. And I always loved Majora's Mask. It was like kind of the off one. And of course, I had some leaves laying around for whatever reason. So I put them around the base just for like atmosphere. And then the lights just for atmosphere, you know, to make it look cool. Give it that eerie, you know, kind of vibe going on. And then, of course, I got the game day one. And I remember the day this game came out, PlayStation 2 came out. And I waited in line to get a PlayStation 2. And I said to the people, I was like, yeah, I ordered, I pre-ordered Majora's Mask. And they were like, oh, UPS didn't come yet. Which at the time, I didn't understand. Because it was so early in the morning. UPS probably didn't start delivering stuff till like 8, 9 o'clock. So I just ended up going to Toys R Us and getting it. But then, uh, of course, I got the strategy guide. Which I thought would be a lot more valuable. Then it really is. It's it's really worth like nothing. It's but, not uh, worth anything. I don't think so. I don't think so. You with think something the... like that would be worth something? I was gonna say with all the uh, strategy guys that you sit there and you have, and that's not worth anything. Nothing. And this game, you kind of needed a strategy guide because there's a time travel element to the story. Really, you, you have three days to do what you got to do, and then you reset. Before the moon with the face comes crashing into the earth. But when you reset time, you lose your arrows, your bombs, your money. So you have to deposit your money in the bank. That way you won't lose it. But you lose your arrows, your bombs. You don't lose main weapons. But then, because of the time travel thing, people are at certain spots on different days and different times. So if you want to meet them at the right time... You have to be on like the second day at sunset. It's yeah, there's like a whole They really get into it the, was, the way they create the game and yeah. everything. When you were sitting there showing me, you know, Breath of the Wild and and all the stuff that goes on there, Nintendo really puts a lot of care. And Oh yeah, Nintendo, yeah, they it's incredible what they do with they the They know games. what they're doing. And of course, uh, years ago, I think at Toys R Us, I picked up the Skull Kid action figure. That's who's wearing Majora's Mask. He's like the main villain, I guess. Yeah, when I started the game, the very beginning of the game, I met uh, the kid that's wearing Majora's Mask. Yeah. And I'm like, who the hell is he? He didn't have any friends. Okay. And he robbed a mask salesman. And he stole Majora's Mask. But I guess the main, he's kind of a tragic figure, I guess. But I guess the main villain is the moon. Because the moon just wants to crash into the earth. Or whatever planet Link takes is, place on. The okay. Legend of Zelda takes place on, yeah. Uh, and I also have a Deku Link figure. Yeah, very off. It was very off. It was like the off one, like they said, uh, Castlevania Simon's Quest. Or Super Mario Brothers 2. It was like the weird one. But the weird ones were... They, those games were great. This game's great. I was very into it. That's why I bought the statue. Rate it. What's... Um, out of all the Zelda games that you played... Because... Have you played all of them? No. Out of the ones that you played... What does this... I know you're not too big into ranking... <laughs> but what would you say this is... In rank wise? Top, oh. top three? Definitely top three? Let's say four. Top four? Okay. Yeah, four or okay. five. Let's hit, let's hit it on that. Okay. You caught that, me off guard there. I had to think about something. I was going to say, I'll, we'll make another video of, you know, your top Zelda games. But okay, it's top four. And lastly, if anyone never knew or wondered, 
Link is dying or dead in this game. That about does it for this video. I'm Darth. Well, the dead Link theory is in Ocarina of Time, Link became the hero of time. He traveled from old Link to young Link, defeated Ganon. He's leaving Hyrule at the beginning of Majora's Mask. And then Skull Kid attacks him. And then Link falls down a hole. And that's when he turns into the Deku Shrub. Which is a race of plant beings in the Legend of Zelda universe. You see a dead Deku Shrub right at the beginning of this game. But then later on in the game, you can turn into a Zora which is the fish people race. Uh, oh, going back, he ends up in a different world. But he meets everybody he met in Ocarina of Time. It's just different versions of them. So now at this point, he has the Deku mask. Like I said, he meets the fish people. The fish guy dies. And he gives him a mask where he can turn into a Zora. Before that, you meet a Goron, which is like the mountain people race. That Goron dies and gives you a mask. So everybody you meet that you get a mask from dies. But at the end of the game, you get a power to make copies of them. To like weigh down switches. But the one copy is a Link copy. So now you have a Deku that's dead. A Goron that's dead. And a Zora that's dead. And now you have a Link copy standing there. Right? This took a long time, I think, for people to figure out. Like I didn't think about it. But years later, when Twilight Princess came out, you meet like a half-decayed skeleton knight that trains you in, uh, to give you new moves. That's who trains you. But when you first meet him, he says, I was once the hero of time. That's the kicker. Are you telling me that he saw another Link? Yeah, there's all kinds of... It's different timelines. The Link you play as in Twilight Princess isn't the Link you play as in the other games. There's, it's, it's, it's like the multiverse, I guess. Like the... The Marvel multiverse. Okay. Of course we did. Or DC. You know, it's a different timeline. But when that corpse knight said that, it's like, that's what happened to the Link from Ocarina of Time with Jorah's Mask. Because they're direct sequels. There's not a lot of Zeldas that are connected. Some of them are. But they're not connected. But the theory is at the beginning of that game when he falls down that hole, that's him dying. And then when he's going through Termia, I think that's the world, instead of Hyrule, he's in Termia. And he's meeting all the people again, but it's different versions of them. That's his memories. As he's dying, he's remembering the people he met in Ocarina of Time. We gotta make a video that goes through... Because I'm... Just by what you were sitting there and saying, I'm like totally yeah. confused. And Nintendo confirmed that years later. They did? So this isn't like a fan theory. Nintendo confirmed that years later. That's why he said that in Twilight Princess. He's like, I was once the hero of time. And it's like, oh man, that's what happened to Link. He just ended up like a rotted corpse. Like, he fell down a hole and died. But I think the hole, it really wasn't a hole. That was just his brain shutting down. See, I'm, th I think I'm if you want to look at it on that level. I'm yeah. sitting there and I'm thinking that all of the Zelda games are connected no. and it's just like one after another after no. another, but you're telling me no. No. Wow. There's a main timeline and then it branches off into three timelines. Oh, wow. Huh. Yeah. So that's the, the theory on that. If anybody, they can Google it or YouTube it. Very interesting. But yeah, had people had a lot of people stumped for years. But we'll, that that's the theory. We'll be making a video on that one pretty soon. That about does it for this video. I'm Darth. I'm Doomsayer. 
Thanks for watching. See you next time.